breast milk which is the ideal form of nutrient or the food that is available to a newborn infant by nature and this will contain all the important ingredients from a nutrient point of view and in additionally it will provide most of the immunity the child requires in the initial few months of life because a newborn who is totally alien to the environment will not have a proper chance of survival unless he or she gets an adequate support of immunity. So that can be passively transferred from the mother to the baby through breast milk. So it is one of the biggest advantages that one, a, a newborn infant would get from its mother in a natural way. Now exclusive breastfeeding is something which we have been practicing for some time and the duration of exclusive breastfeeding had been varying from time to time based on the scientific evidence that we have been gaining. Now the latest recommendation to go up to six months of exclusive breastfeeding is of course in most of the cases is a practically can achieve situation. In South Asia region and especially in Sri Lanka we have fairly high exclusive breastfeeding rates up to six months of age but of course sometimes this has to be curtailed around four months of age because mainly the mothers are in the working mothers who will not get adequate maternity leave but uh, of course having said that the majority who goes on to continue breastfeeding till six months will have adequate proper growth and will have a nutritionally uh, well nourished uh, population. So the advantage of giving exclusive breastfeeding of course is that it will provide all the nutrients including the adequate amounts of water even in uh, uh, warm climates like South Asia and apart from that it will also provide all the nutrients. The growth rates of these individuals will be uh, sort of control. That has a very important implication when we consider the long-term effects of feeding, early feeding. Because we today know we, the whole world, even South Asia region, faces an epidemic of non-communicable diseases, especially things like uh, diabetes and uh, coronary vascular diseases. Then the ideal way or the one of the best ways to control these early origins of these diseases is proper nutrition in the early stages of life. And one of the key factors that would help in controlling uh, the early onset of most of these non-communicable diseases is having a proper uh, growth pattern or proper growth rate in the first few years of life. So the main foundation for this could be laid during the initial first few months where the child is learning and certain aspects of programming is still continuing by providing the nature's most and the best new, uh, the food, breast milk. So through that you can maintain the proper growth trajectory of individual because there is a control between the producer as well as the, uh, the, the person who takes the milk and they will be given, the infant will be taking the adequate amount of or the required amount of nutrients only. So therefore, exclusive breastfeeding going up to six months would be the ideal because uh, that will provide the proper nutrition as well as it will reduce the incidence of unnecessary infection. And uh, however, practically although there could be some difficulties, everybody should uh, attempt to go on and feed their children as long as possible. Then on the other hand, it will have some advantages on the mother also where she will be able to lose some of the uh, weight that she had gained during pregnancy. Uh, having said all these biological implications, the, natural, the other psychological uh, importance of exclusive breastfeeding for a longer period is the strong bonding that would be developing between the child and the mother. So that will help uh, a long way for this uh, child. Then apart from this, the other close attachment will help the child also to develop a healthy microflora 
in the skin as well as in the intestinal tract. Uh, six months of exclusive breastfeeding seems sometimes elusive to some people. It is practically can be achieved situation where if the parents or if the mother is properly counseled as well as mother is properly motivated, especially the process should begin during the pregnancy and the mother should be uh, guided throughout the pregnancy and then uh, given the opportunity to continue uh, the breastfeeding up to uh, six months of exclusively and thereafter also up to about two years with the introduction of complementary feeding. <music>